Independent Radio News, London Broadcasting Company. From Callaghan to Thatcher in a contemporary audio archive. The Independent Radio News, London Broadcasting Company Radio Archive consists of thousands of reel-to-reel -reel tapes in a collection that runs from 1973 to the mid-1990s. It's the most important commercial radio archive in the UK and provides a unique audio history of the period. It forms an important part of the history of radio broadcasting since it provides an alternative source of radio journalism and news and current affairs broadcasts to the BBC's own collection. But as reel-to-reel -reel audio tapes, the archive is inaccessible for research. Now, 4,000 hours of the most noteworthy recordings relating to news and current affairs are available online for use in teaching, learning and research. The digital archive includes invaluable recordings of a wide range of broadcasts, including coverage of the Falklands War, the Miners' Strike, Northern Ireland and the whole of the Thatcher period of government. It includes the first hours of UK commercial radio and the first commercial radio news. The Channel 4 broadcaster John Snow started his media career at LBC and has fond memories of his time there and strong views on the value of radio. Uh, I, I, although I work for television, I think radio is the ultimate medium and I think any student studying the media, studying history, will get a more vivid account of life through radio than any other medium. Um, the pictures are so much better. The, the use of the human imagination when viewing an event is so acute. The words are so fine, the observation is so keen. The trouble with television is that you've got to have the pictures and if you don't have the pictures you can't quite give the same account. You've got to give the account the television pictures will enable you to give. In radio you don't have any pictures so you're alright, you just make up your own. Over, the four gunmen have come out. The uh, siege here has just ended one minute ago. There is still um, a great deal of activity here, but a flashing blue lighted van has just swept off into the distance with its uh, a siren wailing. That was John Snow reporting from the scene of the 1975 IRA siege in London. For him, radio could not be beaten in that situation. Well, my strongest memory is the end of what was a notorious IRA siege uh, in Bulkham Street in uh, London. Indeed, the, 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 the accused have only recently um, left jail. Um, and uh, th this was a siege right in the middle of London. Um, Mr and Mrs Matthews, a harmless sort of, you know, city couple, were taken hostage in their flat by... Uh, two IRA suspects who were being chased by police. And um, we were there for, I, I don't know, days and days and days. And then it suddenly ended in pitch darkness and there were sort of big tarpaulins across the street and things. And they made it very difficult for television. But for radio, it was an absolute joy. Um, the sound was fantastic. Shouts, cries, oi, oi, get him, run, quick, etc. You know, and... Uh, Da, 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 da. And you could even hear the Doppler effect going across Dorset Square. It actually changed tone on the radio. And you really felt you were there. And I was broadcasting live for 20 minutes on a Motorola walkie-talkie system. There was no mobile phones, no outside broadcast. But the quality was actually amazingly good, and you'll hear it in this uh, sound archive. Um, and the, the real issue was, could I keep my frozen thumb on the button of the Motorola to ensure my transmission continued. And actually, there was a sweet I ITN floor manager who was there for television, who saw my predicament and took over the button with her gloved hand and held the thing there for me to continue. And I sort of shook the frostbite out of my hand and carried on with the broadcast. And, and it was one of the most spellbinding occasions because you knew you were just watching history in motion. It was the absolute high point of the urban conflict uh, between the state and the IRA here in London. The archive is freely available to UK further education and higher education institutions and users can listen to the recordings via a website which combines access to the archive catalogue and digital audio files. 
It is brought to you by JISC, the Joint Information Systems Committee, with the University of Bournemouth.